guys, I hope you're all really well. Welcome back to my series. If you're new here, I'm Lily and I run a micro bakery small business called Lily's Loaf in South London. So welcome back guys. I'm sorry about the slightly wonky setup in my kitchen today, but my tripod is actually broken, so I'm doing the best that I can. But today's video is gonna be all about how I earn money as a small business owner both in real life and online. And this is a question that I get quite a lot um, in my DMs or emails or um, on YouTube as well, just like how it's possible to run a business. And there has been quite a bit of interest in terms of like all of the various income streams that I've built for my small business. And I just wanna make it clear that I've been doing this for over three years now um, and I've honestly I've just been learning as I go and I just want to show what's possible if you really set your mind to something and if you really believe in your business and your dream and like all of your future goals in the future. Sorry it's so great today here in London. Um, so I've looked at my spreadsheets and yes I do keep a few spreadsheets for my business and I've basically created a snapshot of each month and created pie charts to share with you guys to show the percentage of the income that I've made for each month. My business is very very small, it's basically only me and I've got one part time delivery rider. Um, my mum and dad help out on my market stalls sometimes and well most times actually my mum's always on the stall with me my dad helps with like the setup my sister i pay her as well sometimes on the stall but it is essentially just me doing all the baking all the online work um orders emails newsletter campaigns paid partnerships youtube I do everything and I love it but at the same time it is very very overwhelming too but we're not going to get into that today. Okay so I'm going to start off by looking at the monthly income of May and I hope this isn't really boring, I don't know, I, I just hope it's useful to you guys if you're thinking of starting up your own small businesses and just seeing all of the potential of all of the various different income streams that you can build for yourself and for your business. Um, so May of this year, 53% um, of my income came from online work, 12% came from farmers markets, 11% from weekly deliveries and 22% from wholesale deliveries. So let's look at online work first of all. So my online, my online income comes from a number of different things. So number one is my online products. So that's my ebook and my online course. So earlier on this year, I launched my ebook and then later on my online course. My ebook is a bunch of recipes and short stories about Lily Zof, how I started my small business. And then my online course is how to build a micro bakery business course. And I'm honestly so passionate about digital products, online courses, ebooks, whatever, masterclasses. Um, I just think they're absolutely awesome. Yes, it is quite a lot of work to put in at the beginning to just collate all of the information, put it together, get it out there in the world. But once it's out there, it's a really incredible, um, Tool and asset for your business and just another form of income, passive income. They call it passive income because essentially once you've created it then you don't have to do that much work but in reality there is a decent amount of work to let people know about those products. So for example I link them in all of my YouTube videos, I often speak about them in my Instagram stories, I have them linked in my Instagram bio, I make reels about them, I'm going to make more reels about them as well, um, about the course I mean. So in reality if you want more sales you do have to put in quite a bit of work but I just think it's incredible and the potential here, 
worldwide is just through the roof. I just think it's so, so awesome. And there's just so many different things, so many skills to share, so many, so many subjects that people want to learn. And yeah, that like the potential for online products is just limitless in my opinion. Um, and it's really inspiring. Like a few people that I love to learn from are Abigail Pugh, um, a lovely lady called Clarice that I follow. She told me about Abigail. And um, who else? Amy Porterfield, she's like the queen of online courses and masterclasses. Um, who else? Uh, who else does it? Who else do I learn from? There's so many. They're I can't remember them all right now, but I'll leave a few on on the page here. Okay, so I also earn from YouTube AdSense. So every month from the ads that are played on my YouTube videos, I earn a small amount. It's not a lot, honestly. It's between 100 and 200 pounds every month. So it's really not a lot in comparison to the amount of hours and the amount of work that I put into all of my YouTube videos. It is not really comparative at all, but I'm grateful for it nonetheless. And it's kind of, it. the more views you get, the more money you earn on YouTube essentially. So my YouTube channel is still quite small. I'm so grateful for all of you guys and my subscribers and everything, but in the grand scheme of things, it's quite small. So that's why I don't earn a lot of money on YouTube AdSense. Um, I also earn through affiliate links. So I make a commission off every time somebody clicks on a link to say like an American website which sells bakery equipment or like Rackmaster UK where my oven is made. Um, every time somebody clicks on one of those links, I'll make a commission off that. And then also my online income comes from paid partnerships, but in May I didn't have a paid partnership. So as you can see, for May, 53% came from online work, which is kind of incredible. And I know that that month is when I launch my ebook. So I think a lot of my income came from that ebook to begin with, but that was the first month that I was launching it, so just bear that in mind. And then 12% came from farmers markets, so that's two markets um, every month at least. 11% came from weekly deliveries, so we deliver on Tuesdays and Fridays to customers' homes, so um, fresh bread, buns, extra virgin olive oil. Um, what else do I do? Cookies. So that's just like individual orders from my online shop to customers' homes. And then 22% came from my wholesale side of business. So I supply um, now six to seven, I think, wholesale clients. So that's restaurants, cafes, coffee shops in South London, and I supply them with my um, epic morning buns, my bread, cookies, sausage rolls. So yeah, that side of my business, as you'll see throughout this year, it's growing. So that's May. Um, now, I think it's also worth mentioning that every single month differs so much in terms of my income. And it's just all about having like a chart, like a pie. Um, and I think it's worth having a few different income streams because then say if one just dries up one month or like isn't that consistent then you can rely on the other streams. Um, okay so in June I made 21% from online work so significantly less, more than half of what I made in May. 32% um, came from my wholesale business. 26% came from farmers markets and 19% came from weekly deliveries. Um, in July, oh this is quite interesting, um, it's much more even. So if you imagine people are going away for the summer in July. So 26% came from my online work, 23% came from wholesale business, 
21% came from weekly deliveries and 28% came from farmers markets. Um, I missed out August because I think I think I was away in the final week of August or maybe the first week of September. I can't really remember but um, it was a bit of a quieter month for me and it always tends to be quieter in July and August just because so many customers are away and this seems to be across the board for hospitality. Um, so in September, 63% um, of my income came from online work. So in that month, um, I did a paid partnership. Well, all of the paid partnership work was finalized in September. So that was a big, big chunk of my income. Um, it also came from my online products, YouTube AdSense, affiliate links, but mainly the paid partnership um, that I did with Apple and NatWest. So that was really amazing and incredible. 15% um, came from wholesale clients, 14% came from weekly deliveries, and 7% came from farm one farmer's market because I was away for one of those weeks, um, I could only commit to one market that month, so significantly less. And then finally in October, so last month, 38% um, of my income came from wholesale, 9% came from online work, 22% came from farmers markets, and 29% came from weekly deliveries. So as you can see, um, it varies so much from month to month but things that I can count on for sure are wholesale. The wholesale side of my business is really growing um, and that is really reliable because my clients want basically the same amounts every single week, same amount of products every week so I know I can rely on that. Um, my weekly deliveries, they always fluctuate because that's local customers and they have to order on my website. Um, so it's just, that's just the way that my business has been set up since COVID. So weekly home deliveries were a lot more popular in the pandemic because everyone was home, but now not so many people are and they're back in their offices and you kind of have to remember to order well i send out newsletters as well but you kind of have to remember to order um so those things they always fluctuate um and then my online work that kind of fluctuates obviously like i can only do so much in a week as well um so it's where i am like spending my energy basically um, and you do notice a difference like if I spend more time on like creating reels to promote my online course or ebook or more stories every week you I will see a difference in my sales um, whereas say if I've got a big farmers market coming up then I'm obviously spending my time on that so yeah I just hope this shows and demonstrates that there are so many possibilities to earn online and in real life as a small business owner and someone who's self-employed. I do think it's important to have a number of different income streams and obviously when I have my future bakery premises, so my bakery coffee shop in South West London, Things will change a lot and I probably won't have nearly as much time to dedicate on YouTube and online for my online work um, and I would say probably, well, the, the vast majority of the income for my business will come from the shop and wholesale business. Um, so yeah, so I, I hope that helps. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you want me to go into like any more detail on any of this. But yeah, I hope this was helpful guys. Um, thank you so much as ever for tuning in and I'll see you next week. Take care, bye!